Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 20 March um, during the wild times here. Big, uh, big day for the Euro yesterday. A couple of things uh, we need to talk about. Uh, number one is is this uh, weekly trend line here. We I put it up on Twitter yesterday, but this is the trend line from uh, basically 2000. Um, those lows were 78. I don't know why it's 81.34, but euro was down at 78 cents there. Oh, excuse me. My gosh, I'm tired. Um. Anyway, trend line broke uh, 70 yesterday. We unfortunately got stopped out on that liquidity news. We were short around 96. Uh, the push back up to 38 got me. Really uh, annoying, that move. And then it just kind of hung around for a couple hours and kind of lost my way. Uh, so we're, we're less short than we should be. Um, but such as life and FX, sometimes they get you. But this is important. Why is it important? Why am I um, banging on about this? Two things. Uh, big weekly trend line, it's the end of the week. Uh, and then number two, the uh, amount of selling against obvious Euro Swiss bids. Uh, I would say it's not disturbing, but it's uh, shocking. Uh, and someone in the open market is openly uh, just giving as much Euro Swiss as the SMB will take. Uh, and that, to me, sort of says that people are worried. Uh, people are worried about the Euro and, and what this will all mean. And I guess a lot of this has to do uh, with if they're going to change the debt rules in the, in, in within Europe. So the debt to GDP regulations uh, will change and if they do obviously places like Italy and Ireland and Portugal will sell tons more debt uh, so will Germany um, but it will call into question sort of the fiscal sanctity of the whole group uh, and, and again whether that's true or not I don't that's not really the point the point is is what is the market gonna do uh, when this happens uh, and I would argue they're gonna they're gonna smash euro and that was this is the beginning of the smash yesterday what do we do today uh, if you didn't sell yesterday uh, you just try and sell high ones right you, it's been up to 70 uh, already the death knock is, is 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 basically 71 so you know between 55 which is sort of right here and uh, 95 you want to you want to get yourself short euros um, for a more extended move to the downside where is this gonna go again we wrote on Twitter yesterday we thought it might close at 105 yesterday closed down at 106.50 um, we definitely think 105 is on the cards and then um, probably a look at parity the other thing that is a bit of a worry about all this is uh, the ECB president uh, although she is uh, whip smart uh, Christine Lagarde she's a rookie right uh, and people will test her the market will test her the market has a habit of testing uh, new things uh, things they they think that may be weak or inadequate. Um, again, I'm not sure whether that's true or not, but it just is what it is. This is the way markets work. So there's a few reasons to be short Euro. Um, let's take a look at Euro Yen, see if that may be a, a more interesting vehicle. Uh, by the looks of this chart, it is not. Uh, obviously push and pull dollar yen went a lot higher euro went a lot lower euro yen really didn't do anything there euro sterling is driven by the sterling side we won't even look at that uh, let's take a look at dollar yen i mean what what the hell was that 111.37 basically dollar madness buying um shocking 
but here we are uh, back below 110 now but uh, don't know what to do with dollar yen so we're just avoiding it now dollar swiss uh, we've been on the phone with a number of different uh, swiss entities this past week and uh, unanimously we're telling them all to do the same thing hedge your dollars now because uh, once this dollar buying madness is over dollar swiss is going to collapse um, and even if euro collapses if the floor in euro swiss sort of opens up uh, this will take dollar swiss lower so normally these guys listen um, listen to me when I tell them to do this kind of stuff so I expect quite a bit of selling between sort of just even on the 97 handle here um, people are going to be lightening up their dollars and if you're going to be short dollars this is the currency to be shorted against right God knows what to do with dollar yen you don't want to be short against uh, short dollars against euro that thing's a mess uh, Aussie Kiwi CAD mess 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 uh, so if you were a dollar bear dollar Swiss seems to be uh, the correct choice let's look at this gold we're patiently waiting for this um, 1450 to go here 57 the low yesterday when did that happen that was Asia God bless Asia um, could be today just more forced liquidation uh, and if you believe uh, that all the sovereign wealth funds are pulling their money from the big hedge funds today is the 20th which is typically the last business day of the month that you need to uh, have your paperwork in if you're going to withdraw money from a hedge fund um, and if there are more withdrawals there'll be more forced selling so it's pretty simple if someone has given you 20 billion to manage and they take that 20 and you have that you know once you have that money in your hedge fund you have to put it to work you put it you put 20 billion leverage three times in a risk parity portfolio they pull the 20 billion you've got to um, sell the positions in the market so if there are more redemptions we'll see gold lower uh, we will also see bonds lower today uh, Bonds was a tradable day yesterday, also will be a tradable day today. There's going to be some stops just above 136, so we're going to be sellers on the 136 handle today. ZN, FGBL, we will we'll sell um, again, same as yesterday, between 170 and 172. Uh, fixed income left, still the trade as far as we're concerned. Dollar CAD looks like it's turned, don't know why except for the fact that oil went a little bit higher yesterday it had that kind of doji day and not today below 140 144.18 no dog in this fight but it does look like it's turned Aussie also 500 points from the low yesterday at one point the fix we had like a 200 point range in, in eight minutes during the fix Aussie looks like it wants to turn, has not made a higher high yet today, but again, indecision on a big, broad FU range yesterday might be turning as well. What else is out there, Kiwi? The chart's going to be the same, might be turning, sterling. We saw good buying in sterling yesterday. Whoa, new low today, 114.09. How do you like those apples? Did not see that coming. See, we're consolidating here. Let's call it between 114 and 118. It's going to have to make a decision. Man, 114.09. Ridiculous. Um, this does not look like it's turned. Could do, but could do bullish engulfing today, but somehow I doubt that. Um, be careful, Sterling. This could easily go to 110. Uh, that makes no sense, but it could easily do that. See Euro Norway. Um, 
went 100 big figures up and then 100 big figures down uh, in the last two days. What else is out there? Dollar China. Actually, no, let's go to crude. Crude's up five bucks from the lows. Low is 20.80. Now we're 26.80. We did print a high up at 28. Uh, you know, eight bucks. That's 40% uh, from the move from 20 to 28. Just astounding. Uh, but still on its knees. Uh, it's going to have to, it's going to be natural resistance at 30 now. So let's just see how things go in crude. But in order for equities to turn, uh, crude has to turn. Speaking of equities, just dicking around here at the lows, 2270, uh, 2470, these 200 handles here. Can we clear these highs today? I don't know. Um, we thought it was going to go up yesterday at the close. It went down. We're right in the middle here. Not much to do. It'll be interesting up at 2488 what to do. It will equally be interesting uh, down at 2260 if we see that. Uh, so these are the two points we're looking at. Main focus is we're going to keep an eye on uh, selling fixed income today or selling high ones. Uh, we'll be break trading gold through 1450 and uh, we're looking to be short euros. I've said enough. Good luck trading today, people. Uh, have a great weekend and I will talk to you on Monday. Ciao.